the Art Social Club is a combination of things. Uh, primarily, it is um, a social club. It's about the intellectual and spiritual uplift of the people and, of the, and, and the community. But also, it is a for-profit corporation. Uh, it became incorporated back in 1912. It was a time during segregation, during Jim Crow, where you know African American men were targeted for standing, you know, just being in their own community, standing outside. So the, the individual members um, decided to create their own institution to house the activities that they were going to do. We in the early days we acted as a, a community organization as well as a culture uh, culture center. You know, that's how we acted because we were part of the community and everybody came to our social club. Like they came there just to talk to the lawyer for advice. They came there just to talk to the doctors to get advice. Our social club had history makers in the club. Um, they had graduated from colleges, universities. They were educated people. They were like early civil rights fighters at that particular time, trying to change things, you know. After the desegregation, people began to migrate out of the community. And so we, our membership began to drop. We were up around 300 uh, our members. And now I guess we're about like somewhere around 65. And then also in this generation, uh, becoming part of social clubs and stuff like that is not quite, it's not quite as popular yet until we repopularize it. <laughs> but you know, we're working on that one. I grew up learning about these guys, about these brothers, about these individuals who were strictly about the service of their community and preservation of their culture. So when I met them, it was like, you know, I was awed. The thing about club, we're a private club. And, 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 and the thing about private means shh, you know, because some things in private clubs, you don't tell everything. So because we, are, because we are not a political organization, you can be a Democrat, Republican, an atheist, no matter what your religious view, your, you, no matter what it is, you can be a member of a social club. We never had a, a, a clause to say whites can join a club. We just was a men's club. Also, there are community events that we support. So you might come in here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and uh, there's no telling you know, what organization and maybe in here a meeting or you know, trying to have some type of uh, an event. That's really how we first met with uh, uh, Denise Johnson, executive director of our 501c3, our social community network. I think that the beautiful thing that I'm feeling now is the level of respect that they give me and, the, um, and they hold me in value. So I feel blessed. Um, sometimes I feel a little, a little um, I don't know what the word is because I'm just surrounded uh, by men and I'm saying, okay, uh, we have to figure out how do we bring more, more women in. Right now what we're doing is that we, we are determined to transform the image of Ground Zero for Baltimore City. And when people think of Ground Zero and Penn North right now, they think of the Freddie Gray uprising. Well, we're gonna change that. And uh, when we get finished, when people think of Ground Zero, they're gonna think about this is the gateway to the black arts and entertainment district. When I was a little boy, it was like Las Vegas, you know, all the movie stars, all the entertainers, everybody came to Baltimore. Um, Jane Brown, Temptation, Diane Ross, you know, different, different people have um, played at the Royal Theater, but it's historic. This was our downtown. What we feel is very, very important uh, for, for black people and for Baltimore City as a city is that we revitalize Pennsylvania Avenue, not just physically with stores and shops, but also with, uh, with a vibrant uh, uh, black African-American oriented culture. The club, again, their hearts are so, they just have such beautiful hearts in, in, in their intent to continue to support the community. Um, sometimes over the years, they have let people use the space for free. When you first come into the Arc Social Club, there's a banner up on the, in the foyer area inside of the museum. And it says, we are um, Arc Social Club members, and our goal is to, to service our community and preserve our culture. So those two basic things right there just fell on my heart. We have to be patient with each other. Uh, so with that patience and with that love, it's easier to offer them, you know, services now. Yeah, so service to the community and preservation of our culture, most important things. 
But for anybody out there who are high rollers or know people who have those big dollars, we have our historic structures report. It's going to cost $5 million to totally renovate this building. My phone number is 410-746-4819. Phase one is going to cost $1.6 million, so just give me a call. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs>